Last week we found my axis point. Now Ray Edwards is here to help me use that information to create different reactions from the same ball. Yeah, Marshall, what we have here is we have two balls that are started out exactly the same, but because we've drilled them differently, they're going to give you very different reactions on the lane. In this ball here, you'll notice that this, this marking pin on the surface of the ball is very far away from your axis. What that shows us is that the core is at a 90 degree angle relative to your axis in that ball, and that's going to create a very stable axis, it's going to create very little flare, it's going to give you a real gentle reaction of the ball on the lane. In the second example, we've chosen a different drilling pattern that puts the core at a different angle relative to your axis. In this case, the core is at a 45 degree angle, which is a very unstable position, causing the track to flare as the ball goes down the lane. You see the axis tape go off the axis quickly, and you'll get much more reaction of the ball in the back end of the lane. Well, now that I have this information, I can take it to my local ball driller, and we can set up particular bowling balls to get the reactions that I'm looking for. If you're